Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Smith presents the man. It was a Monday. The town was quiet, and I was sitting in my bed watching Teen Moms when I noticed that the characters were a bit out of shape. So I decided to get into shape. I would start running every day. Previously, before this Monday. I had been running around the town every day. Now that today was Monday, this was my seventh day of running. But today, something was a bit odd. When I was running through the town, I noticed that every single street light would turn off. I didn't mind it, I thought it was just a power outage. I'm running for about 10 more minutes when I hear a screech. I decided to go check it out, so I knocked on the door, no answer. I knocked again no answer. I knocked a third time, something knocked back. He started kicking the door, demanding answers. I felt like nothing was going to happen, so I walked away. But while I was walking away, the door opened. I decided I needed to enter the house, so I walked in the house. I took one step, and there was a large creak. And then, I'm upstairs, I hear an old woman yell, leave. I felt like I was intruding, so I ran out. I continued my run, and so I decided I was running too much, and I was shooken up by the house situation, so I decided to run back. As soon as I got home, it started raining. I went inside, sat down, and started watching some stand-up shows on Comedy Central until I heard a knock on my door. Beep beep. I went to go investigate. I opened the door. I thought it would be my neighbor. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> and who kept asking for milk, so I was going to give him some milk. I said, all right. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> I'm going to give you some milk. I told Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> to come in the house while I got some milk. I told. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> and to wait by the door while I went to get a carton of milk. I grabbed the milk and started making my way back to the entrance. As I'm walking back to... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> I start thinking of the house fiasco, and how scared I was afterwards. I get to... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Smith, I couldn't see... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Smith anymore. Did... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Go further into my house, or did he leave? Both doors were closed. Upon further investigation, I noticed that... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Smith wasn't there because he went further into the house. He's gone because something killed him. How do I know this? Because we're... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Smith was standing, where I told him to wait, there was a puddle of blood. So I was frightened, and I pulled out my phone and dialed 911 as soon as possible. A few minutes later, I hear a knocking on the door. I opened the door, and it was the police. I said, Cops, I didn't know you were coming. I didn't see your lights or hear your siren. The cops replied with, That's because the lights and sirens were working fine until we entered the town, and then they shut off. I explained to the cops what happened to Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, 
Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> the cops said, Whoa, that sounds pretty weird. We were going to go back to the car and call for reinforcement. I watched them go back to the cars in the dark, because every light in the town was off except for mine. About 10 to 20 minutes later, they don't come back. I went out there, but I couldn't see a thing because every light was off. I said, I got an idea. So I ran back into my house, but as I was running and I noticed something. I noticed that the pool of blood was gone. You were shocked by the events, but you continue going to your room. I run into my room, grab my cell phone, and I noticed that my TV was now playing spooky movies. I was a little frightened, because I don't like scary movies, but I left my room. So I grabbed my phone, it was pretty dark outside. I couldn't see a thing, it was like I was blind, so I take out my phone and turn on my flashlight app. And while I was walking to the cop car, there was no cop car. And I was out on the street, the cops were gone, there was no cop car. I start hearing wind rush past me. I heard things that sounded like crashes of cars down the street. I thought it was safer if I ran inside. I run inside, I lock the door, and I go back to watching TV, thank God the scary movie was done, so I can start watching South Park. Which is good, because I just finished the game South Park, The Stick of Truth. While I was watching it, I was drinking my iced Coca-Cola, TM. I start feeling a strong pain in my face, like something's on my face eating, like a tick or something. So I go to the bathroom and look in the mirror. So the pain went away once he started looking at his face, but he started feeling an itching sensation on his cheekbone. I started scratching away at the itching part. As I was scratching, my face starts coming off. There's no blood only pale, white skin. I noticed that I was a pale, balding man. I started walking back to my room, and then I started having flashbacks. I remember when... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> came knocking on my door, and I went to get some milk, but what actually happened was... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> didn't exist. And the pool of blood never existed. So when I went to get... Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> <laughs> the milk, and he wasn't there, it's not because he died, it's because he wasn't there. And I had another flashback. When I called the police, I called the police, and they arrived. I called the police, and I told them the story, and then they went outside. But what actually happened was, I told them the story, followed them outside, and ate them. Then I pushed the cop car down the street. That's why there was no cop car, and that's why there was no cop car, and that's why I heard the crashing down the street. At this point, this is when I realized that I don't perceive time like other people. That's why running with the lights turning off and the house happened today. But me becoming the man and eating those people happened two weeks ago. When I went into the house, that's the reason the lights turned off, and they told us to leave was because they heard the story of the man and turned the lights off. But I didn't know I was the man at that point. I had to live with being the man for about another year until I woke up one day in a dark room and a light comes from the ceiling and I see two giant hands coming in. I start crying. Next thing I know, I'm in a woman's arms as an infant. And then I live a normal life. The End